Today is International Women's Day, and I want to talk about the Song Dynasty poet Li Qingzhao. If you've ever watched the story of Ming Lan, then you've heard of her poem. The Chinese title of the story of Ming Lan is "Zhi Fu Zhi Fu, Ying Shi Lu Fei Hong Shou," which is a line from her poem "Ru Meng Ling." The opening theme song for the show is named "Zhi Fu Zhi Fu." And uses the poem in its lyrics. We will be discussing the poem later in the video. First, let's learn more about her. Li Qingzhao was born in the year 1084 to a family of scholar officials. Her father held a position in the central government and was a student of the famed poet Su Shi, who I also need to do a video on. In her early days, she lived in the capital city of Beijing, and became well known in the literary circles for her poems. She married a man named Zhao Mingcheng when she was eighteen, and by all accounts, they were a perfect match. They were both scholars and loved collecting various books and scrolls. Her husband, in particular, loved to collect. Bronze artifacts from the Shang and Zhou dynasties. This happy married life didn't last long, as her father's career in the capital hit a major roadblock, in the form of political exile. Her family, along with many others, were forced to leave the capital. Li Qingzhao was forced to leave her husband behind. Her hopes to eventually rejoin him in the capital was dashed. When his family could no longer stay in the capital due to political changes, she went along with him to Qingzhou, which is in modern-day Shandong. This is where she gave herself the pseudonym of Yi An Ju Shi. She was 25 at the time. Finally reunited with her husband, they continued to collect antiques together and had a relatively happy and peaceful time. She of course continued to write. Then, in 1127, the Northern Song Dynasty collapsed, and the royal capital was moved to the south of China. This was the beginning of the Southern Song Dynasty. With the fighting getting closer each day, Li Qingzhao decided to pack up their antique collection and move to the south. In 1129, her husband. Zhao Mingcheng died en route to an official post. In the subsequent chaos, she tried and failed to keep their antique collection together. This devastated her. In 1132, she married a man named Zhang Ruzhou, who treated her poorly. So she divorced him after reporting his illegal activities to the authorities. In Eleven thirty-four, she published "Jing Shi Lu Hou Xu," which detailed the formation of her husband's life's work, "Jing Shi Lu," which is a book about the various artifacts he collected over the years. In "Jing Shi Lu Hou Xu," she wrote about her husband, their marriage, and what she had witnessed during the collapse of the central government. She died in the year 1155, aged 71, survived by her works. And that was a brief look at Li Qingzhao's life. She experienced the collapse of her country's government, political exile, the loss of her husband, the loss of their treasured possessions. These experiences are reflected in her writings. Her earlier works. Were mostly about her days as a maiden, nature scenes, and her relationship with her husband. Her later works tend to be more tragic in tone, often focused on her loneliness and sorrows. Li Qingzhao is most famous for her Ci. She is regarded as a master of the Wei Wan Pai, which is a style movement during the Song Dynasty. This style focused on writing delicate and restrained poems. She even wrote an essay on how to compose ci properly. 
Zi is linked to music. They are meant to be sung, but we no longer have the music that accompanied the words. Then there's something called Zi Pai, which is basically a set of rules for how to write Zi for a piece of music. There's many Zi Pai. The poem we're looking at today doesn't have a title, and its Zi Pai is Ru Meng Ling. Ru Meng Ling, Li Qing Zhao. 昨夜雨疏风骤，浓睡不消残酒。试问卷帘人，却道海棠依旧。知否？知否？应是绿肥红瘦。Let's break it down. 昨夜雨疏风骤。Last night the rain was sparse and the wind was harsh. 浓睡不消残酒。Heavy sleep did not dispel the effects of alcohol. 试问卷帘人 ，Here, 卷帘人 is a servant. So she asked the servant a question. We don't see the question, but we get the answer. 却道海棠依旧。The servant said that the begonias remained the same. The last line, which is used as the title for the story of Minglan, 知否？知否？应是绿肥红瘦。Do you know? Do you know? It should be more green than red. It's a short poem, only thirty-three characters in total, depicting her feelings towards the begonias in the yard. Lamenting falling flowers is a classic motif in Chinese poetry. The last line saying, 绿肥红瘦 Is what people remember this poem for. Green fat, red thin, a very striking way to describe the state of the plant after a night of harsh winds. And that's the poem used for the title of the story of Ming Lan. Li Qingzhao have many other poems, including another Ru Meng Ling. You should go read it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.